Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another installment of TNF Reviews. So, are you? let me ask you something first, real quick. Are you guys familiar with this dude called Railway Customs? Because he's doing a contest, and you know what? I'm taking part of that contest, and you guys should too. Also, is this going to be a regular setup from now on? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. So I was looking all over these guys and wondered, who on earth do I want to do a, a track, no, not a track master, a custom Taken Player Diecast Metal review on? I mean, I do have a lot more um, OCs than actual, like, characters in the show and books, but whatever. But then I thought to myself, and then I found the perfect character to do a review on. And I figured that with this being a whole contest, why not, you know, make this a bit more, you know, a bit of a special kind of something, you know? And with the OC or character that I'm going to be doing with it, doing this with, I'm not only going to uh, like talk about how I, you know, made her, but I'm also going to go a little bit into her backstory as well. So, the character we'll be looking at today is... Millicent, the Southern Railway U-Class. Before I do go into her backstory, I'm just going to talk a little bit about her. So, like most of my other OCs, I made Millicent around, like, either 2019 or 2018, like, I think 2019, I'm not too sure. And back then, she was a completely different character to what you see now. Back then, she was supposed to be a black Ibet tender engine by the name of Cassie. When I was later remastering her in around, like, I think 2021 or 2020, then I wanted to, I wanted to change her basis since I couldn't actually like make it at the time, and I also wanted to give her a new name since it already, her name already sounded familiar or like similar to another OC who I had by the name of Cassandra, so yeah, I chose the Southern Railway U class and I called her Millicent. And I made edits of her and Callum, which I will probably put on the screen in like a second or two, I don't know. As for her model, I gave her a new face, as well as cardboard smoke deflectors and cardboard uh, pissings, which were really just little brown blocks that were only visible behind the wheels. So, not really too good of a custom back then, but I didn't really care too much about it. Then, in 2022, I got Clay for a Christmas present, and in 2023, aka the year that we are the year that we are still in now, until the next, what, couple of weeks, I finally picked up the model, as well as a few other model OCs, and started work on her. And I will get to the model and how I made her after I go over the backstory for her. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that she's one of the characters voiced by Sky in my videos. So don't forget to check out her channel as well. Millicent, the Southern Railway u class was built in 1928 at Brighton Works and handled passenger work in the Southern region. A year or two after she was built, she would be acquainted with two, four, with two certain E4s and the trio would become good friends. In 1948, she was repainted into British Railway, Railway Black and continued with passenger work for some years later. Then, in 1962, it was said she was to be sent off to her heritage railway in the Midlands, when in actuality, she was withdrawn and sent to a scrapyard. Upon being taken there, she was dumped off the rails next to another train engine and left there. The said tank engine was an SC and was an S E and C R H class, whose name I probably won't reveal now unless you're in, unless you know me on Discord. I will I will re, I will reveal the said name on Discord though. And, um, anyway, the said H class was a kind old engine and this and Millicent was glad to at least be in some good company. Especially since the certain the certain BR class 40 diesel there at the time wasn't a very nice engine. Then in 1965, both engines witnessed a certain ground tank engine telling off the diesel 
who did end up changing for the better. Then later on in 1975, Watson was finally cut up the strap and Millicent's once bright paint work at the time had been replaced with rust after all, the, after all those years of simply sitting around and not doing anything. By this point, she was feeling pretty depressed and alone and would stay at that scrapyard for about 10 more years until she was approached to by a man. This man was the current controller of the East British Railway and he offered to buy Millicent and fix her up so that she could work on his railway, which she accepted immediately. And before she knew it, she was loaded onto a flatbed and placed on a long goods train in a large dark green 9F, aka Callum, transferred her to East Lank, East Lank Works, I think that's how you pronounce it. There were several repairs, a new number, aka the number 54, and a new coat of paint of her choice. And after seeing delivery of the 9F, aka once again Callum, she went with dark green and white lining. When she was finally repaired, she and her new controller made their way back to her new home, where she was reunited with both the e -quarters. And where a certain event took place involving a shooter, which I'm not really going to get into right now. Otherwise, I'd be going into spoilers of a future project in mind that I would love, that I would really love to get to work on in uh, 2024. But yeah. And she also witnessed Ted being a dumbass and making a mess of himself by causing an accident in the yard. And she still works on the East British Railway to this very day as a mixed traffic engine rather than just a passenger engine. Alright, so now that we've got her backstory and everything else about her out the way, let's move on to how I made her model. So, when I made Millicent back when I was in like, middle school, and that was in like, yeah, that was in 2019, she was, I used a black permanent marker on her, and then just slapped a, a paper face on her. And I do want to recycle Neville's Tender to make her look more like an Ibet Tender engine, but didn't actually do that because I didn't want her to share a tender with Neville, so she just stayed with the James tender and wasn't really much of an eye fit back then. Then in 2020 or 2021, when I was trying to, you know, make some improvements to her, I gave her a new face and again cut out some card cut out some smoke deflectors with cardboard and colored those black and I cut out some squares to act as the pistons and then just stuffed them behind the wheel with some tape. Now, like most of my other customs, basically just all of my other customs now in um, 2020 you know from 2022 to 2023, I use clay and white out. I sculpted some smoke deflectors and some pistons with the clay and let those to dry a bit and let those to dry for a little bit. While I was doing that, I gave her a couple of coats of whiteout after I removed the face, as well as the old smoke deflectors and pistons. Once all coats were dry, I chose to use a dark green permanent marker and tried very carefully to color her while also I was trying carefully to, you know, color her and leave some, make it look like there was white lining on her. And I feel like I did a good job with it. I did have to try again once or twice in the cab, but again, I still got it done and it looked good enough. Meanwhile, as for the smoke deflectors and pistons, they pretty much dried up, so I also painted those with a couple of coats of white out. And once those were soon dry, I colored them dark green with the permanent marker and left some lining around the smoke deflectors as well. If you can see back here as well, then I also colored it black to, you know, match the smoke box as well, because I don't know if beyond the smoke deflectors would actually be painted um, green or just black, but you know, whatever. Also, if you notice a little bit, you'll know that I made the right smoke deflector a little bit bigger than the left smoke deflector, but eh, who the hell cares. 
And you can also see some of the glue from the pistons with the, um... As it's a little yellow, but... Eh, who the hell cares? It's not all that noticeable. Once I color the smoke deflectors and the pistons green and black, I glue them both onto the model. And as for the tender, I also did up the tender just as well. I also colored it green. I also gave it a couple of repaints, colored it green, and left out some. And also left out a little bit of lining and added the. Space with the number and all that, and I colored here black to be like the inside of the center, even though, or like the inside of the cab, even though I really did shit to the inside of the cab, so yeah. I also made sure to repaint the little foot plates here and then color them red so it wouldn't look like there was any mud there. I also colored the roof black up here, and for the face, before I glued everything else together, like the smoke deflectors and the pistons, I also painted the face white with the white out, and I originally opted to use some green for a similar tick, but failed with that, so I just went with a simple smile, so using a Black permanent marker, one of those little like permanent pen markers or whatever you call them. I very carefully added details for the face, like a mouth, eyebrows, eye eyebrows, eyelashes, and the uh, the pupils as well. And then I glued on the smoke deflectors and pistons, and she was done. And that was how I modeled my OC Millicent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and comment down below, and I don't know, if I do start to do more TNF reviews, then this might be the style that I actually do them in. So yeah, thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll- oh yeah, and don't forget to participate in the, um, or, you know, participate in the contest by Trackmaster Customs if you're interested in doing so, and I'll see you all in the next video, so goodbye.